For me, my students, what's very important is skill, Techni technical skills, computer simulation methods. That, that's what really matters. Go out and you know, learn programming right from the beginning. Don't wait until in grad school. Learn it from, from, from day one, because you will need it. <laughs> it's, my, it's all skill, it's all skill. My best student are the best skill student. <laughs>my understanding or my definition of biophysics is more the, the physics underlying the functionality of biologic systems. What physical principles are, are underlying the function of a cell, for example in conducting nerve pulses from your head to your toe? So what we do is we, 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 co we, co we collaborate for a long time and we identify biologic questions we are trying to find answers. Understanding biology in terms of fundamental principles of physics, undisputable, basic principle on which everything is based. For example, if, you want, if you're interested in the role of certain proteins or certain se in cells, and, and you're interested in the question where do they have to be located in order for the cell to function, this is a, a question you can only address computationally because it's very easy to move a protein around in a computer model. It's just down how to do it in a real experiment. It's almost impossible. But it's important to, to collaborate with a biologist so we ask the right questions, the relevant questions, not just questions we think we're interested. So it's a, it's a really kind of a collaborative interdisciplinary efforts. You don't have to study things for three years before you can understand the question. The questions are pretty obvious, they're right on there and you can you can contribute with a short amount of time if you if you work hard. But it's a very nice area to work on with, with lots of op uh, opportunities. Physics students who get a degree in biophysics like in my lab they they get postdoc positions, not just in physics. Most of them get postdoc positions in medical schools, in biological sciences departments, in bioengineering departments. You can see, so there's a, a huge opportunity out there. I graduated, I got my PhD in quantum optics, and it's the physics of lasers. <laughs> and then we, did, we, we came into similar, we, we came into what, I was working on stochastic processes because photons are, uh, the, the elements of light of a laser, they behave in a stochastic way. So I, I was in stochastic processes, we, we were working on something we call excitable media. These are systems that, can, that run, run waves. And I went to a conference, talked about that, and somebody came up and said, oh, I have this in my lab, I, I look at these cells, they have waves that just look like that, look at that. And we looked at it, and here I was in biophysics since then. This is like, oh man, 15, 15 years ago. <laughs> That's how I got into it. Never left it.